Now you see Lindelof videos solving matrix equations without inverses. And in this case, you can kind of see that maybe we're going to add. I just want to give you an example of what I'm talking about here. If you could just look at this as an algebra problem instead of with this, this matrix stuff in here, you, isn't it true you might see something like this? You might see 5 is equal to y minus 3. And if that was true, can we agree that you would just add 3 to both sides, wouldn't you? So that's kind of what we're going to do here. As a matter of fact, it's exactly what we're going to do here. Um, I have a little thing that I always do with matrices. I don't like to leave a negative out there. If I don't have to, I'd rather turn it into addition. So if you don't mind, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to rewrite this whole thing. And I'm going to get negative 10, 4, 3. I'm just recopying this. And this y is the one that's above it. And this negative, so I'm just going to multiply it in, if you don't mind. So negative times a positive is a negative. That gets me, right? Gives us negative 7. Negative times a negative is a positive, isn't it? And again, negative times a negative is a positive. 11. You can do it backwards and see if it makes sense to you, right? If I did positive times a negative, uh, that negative would go back out there. This would be positive, etc., wouldn't it? It just cleans it up for me. Otherwise, you have to deal with the fact that you have, you're have you going to have this negative sitting outside. And try it the other way and see if it, you don't start to understand what I mean. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this matrix from each side. So if I subtract this matrix from itself, I'll get nothing, right? So I'll have y plus 0, which is just y, right? And then I'm going to take the left-hand matrix, negative 10, 4, 3 right, minus, right, and this minus undoes this positive right here, negative 7, 5, 11. So far, so good. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to say negative, negative is positive, right? So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to change all the signs again. Positive makes this positive, makes this negative, makes this negative, doesn't it? So look at this for a second. Seems like crap a little bit, but then I'm just going to do my work. Remember, it's when you do addition and subtraction, it's element for element. So it was equal to y. Negative 10 plus 3, oh, sorry, plus 7 is negative 3, isn't it? And 4 minus 5, right? Positive times a negative, so this stays negative, doesn't it? So 4 minus 5 is negative 1, right? And then positive times negative, this stays negative, just so you can see what I'm doing. So 3 minus 11 is negative 8. And there's our answer. So it's kind of a hassle, and I get some people are not going to want to do this. If you just wanted to subtract this from both sides, it will work. You're just going to end up having to do something with this negative sign later. It just gets kind of weird. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.